today's vlog is brought to you by Shimano. Of course, Shimano makes some of the most amazing reels and rods and everything that they have going. But there's little things that you probably didn't know that they also do. They have great pliers and rain suits and rain gear and boots and shoes and all sorts of things that will help that will help you while you're while you're fishing. So if you want to check it out, go to Shimano.com and check out all their stuff. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, I'm Steve Chapman. <laughs> now you have to do one. What's up guys? Hey, hey, we're at the last day of the Bassmaster Classic here in Palatka in the St. Johns River. And we're gonna see who wins this damn thing. So let's take it. That's a small one? Is that what you said? Oh, I like to hear that. I'll have to watch some of your footage later. <laughs> oh, dude! Dude! Do we need two bags? God, that's a good looking fish, too. Look how green. Oh, let me have a good picture of that one then, please. Oh my God! Dude, that's a hawk! Oh, nice one again. You got five pigs, John. They don't even fit in the back. The first Bassmaster Elite Series event of the 2019 season, the Power Pole Bassmaster Elite at the St. John's River. Are you ready? Let's get ready to win! Do it, bro. And he is already rolling up here. Let's play the music. Who we got first? Left the dock in 10th spot this morning, waiting the biggest bass of the tournament on day number one. Started the day with 58 pounds and 10 ounces. John Cruz at 58 pounds, 10 ounces, looking for 17, 4, 31 pounds and an ounce. 31, 1. And the cruise missile has 89 pounds, 11 ounces, and he is your brand new leader.
Chris and Corey. You guys gotta get a little bit closer. Now you guys are brothers, you can get closer, it's all right. Uh, for, welcome to the Elites, right? Yeah. Both of you guys' first tournament. I mean, you guys couldn't be more excited on the finishes, could you? No, no, we couldn't ask for a better way to start the season. If you could have told us that we'd be both be in the top 10 after a practice, we'd both take it. You're a little disappointed in the final day that you didn't win or uh, finish how you wanted to, but hey, at the end of the day, we'll take it. You enjoy, obviously, you guys are from up, up north. Yep. How, how different is the fishing here than, I mean, do you guys, how big is the fit different is the fishing here for y'all? It's, it's not really that different. I mean, we cut our teeth flipping grass. Oh, okay. Fish a large and whatnot. So it looks like home, basically. Um, when you get into the reeds and the pads and stuff, so it basically suits our style pretty well. Did, did, did you guys enjoy it? I mean, I know you did really well, but did you... Did, how, well, let me ask this. How, how, how was your guys' practice compared to what you did here? The practice was really tough. Uh, we didn't get a lot of bites, but it was because of the cold front that we had and we knew that the fish were going to be coming to the bank so um, we spent our time kind of looking at where they're going to be going rather than where they were. Can you guys work together? Not I know you can't share and talk about certain things but when it is in that time period can you guys go you want to this is what my strategy is that what you guys are going to do during the year? Practice we can bounce ideas off each other like say start getting them in practice on the spinner bait one in lake and say hey listen Start getting bites on a spinner bait. You might want to try it. Stuff like that. You can you can bounce ideas off each other like that. Yeah. Did you guys get bigger fish here than you get back at home? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. So our, my biggest one back home is probably about a seven in a tournament, and I think every day for the first three days I beat it out here. So yeah. That. What were you guys both using? Doing the same thing, flipping and pitching. Yeah, same thing. Senko, craw bait, or um, speed worm. A little bit of everything. Yeah. Same. 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 Yeah. I kind of like that you work. You can work together and bounce things off of each other. How excited are you about for the rest of the year? We're uh, we're excited. I mean, these back to back ones were tough. When you made the top ten, we had to drive seven hours all night. Be on the be on the water at crack of dawn for Lanier tomorrow, and boats aren't going to get a chance to charge. Lines aren't tied, but uh, you know we uh, we signed up for it. That's what we love to do. So we're not going to complain. Are you have you fished Lanier before? Yeah. How, what is your expectation next week? It's going to be good fishing. Is it? Fished it last year for a tour event, and uh, guys are going to catch them giant spotted bass, and uh, hopefully a little experience we had got last year will pay off. Congratulations to both of you. You guys did a great job. I'm sure we're going to see you uh, up at the Classic, and maybe we can get a hold of you and have a, a conversation. Did your dad? Let me out. Did your dad? T did your parents take you fishing when you were younger? Yeah, we grew up in a bass boat. Our our dad uh, was big into the tournaments, so uh, you know he couldn't get out of the house without us being with him. Who's back. the better fisherman? <laughs> Depends <laughs> on the day. Today, I think today I won. We'll yeah. see you next week. Guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs> is there any any side bets on who's better? Always. No. Is there? Yeah, always brag. <laughs> That's the best part. How do you? If people want to get in touch, you tell me your website and Facebook pages. Uh, mine's uh, like Chris underscore Johnston at, on Facebook or uh, sorry on Instagram or CJ underscore Johnston and Chris Johnston. Johnston sorry, I got corrected. Johnston. Hold on. What was that? Could you come over here for just a second? Yeah. The managers, come on over. <laughs> Johnston underscore CJ for Instagram. Chris Johnston fishing on Facebook. I think mine's Corey Johnston <laughs> underscore fishing. Awesome. Good luck for the rest of the year and congratulations, guys. Thank you. Right on. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. He needs 29 pounds and 10 ounces. 25, 12, moves into second place with 95 pounds and an ounce. Let's celebrate an incredible effort by Mark Menendez. This is a good start for you, isn't it? It was the finish I wanted. I'm thrilled with the third place. To come into third place behind Rick Clun and, and the new hot kid on the tour, Chris Johnson, I, I'm, I'm thrilled. I fished very well. I didn't lose any fish that would have made any difference um, either way. So uh, when you get beat by four or five pounds, it's different than losing by an ounce or two. So uh, I, I worked on it. Uh, I wasn't getting many bites. I got between six and uh, 10 bites a day, fishing deeper cover, fishing old dock pilings, old abandoned dock pilings. Found a few fish up shallow. But uh, soft plastics, a striking rage crawl was my number one bait. Caught them on a spinnerbait yesterday, a 3 8 ounce black, ugly spinnerbait that I put together for these waters. And uh, just rotated through those. Caught one or two on some other things. But uh, it, was, it was about being very patient and being very, very methodical on, on everything I was doing. Crazy off season. Crazy off season. 
but everyone gets a check. This everyone got paid this in, right. in every event. How did, did that? Does that have any influence on how you fish every, when you get down here? No, it would. It, it, it doesn't. But it's great to know that you've got expense money coming, and, you, and it keeps your cash flow going, whether you have a good event or not. Um, I had a great event, so I'm going to be good for a while. But if I have a bad event next week, I'm going to have a little change in my pocket anyway. So it, it, it really helps us to be able to keep our cash flow going in our business. We're small business owners, um, just like everybody else. So that really helps so much to have that little extra coming back. Um, we've got a stout group of anglers in this elite field this year. There's names that you don't know, but I promise by the third name, third tournament, there will be plenty of name recognition. How great was, just real quickly, because I know you got to leave, last question, how great was this crowd today? It was great. Uh, this is a fishing area. These are fishing fans and uh, it's great to see them and uh, we, we love the support. We love the support. It's a venue that fans and fishing friends can come and see and meet us in person and ask us questions and I met a whole crew from Kentucky of all places from where my grandparents are from so um, it's really neat to be able to experience that with the fans. They're genuinely excited, genuinely excited about being here. They're genuinely excited about seeing us and, and getting to press the flesh, meet these people, meet these anglers that, that love it just as much as I do. It makes it even that much sweeter. Safe drive to Lanier. Congratu congratulations and good luck next weekend. Thank you. I promise. A uh -huh, hundred, a hundred, and between the ditches is the way it's going to be tonight. <laughs> I've got to go. State of Florida on the FLW Tour. This is first ever Bassmaster Elite Series event. Rick, come on, let's get side by side. We're going to find out who wins this. A living legend or somebody who I honestly believe is a future legend. He needs 23 pounds, 2 ounces, 19 pounds. being said, win number 16 for a legendary Mr. Rick Flood. Just under a century mark and the ageless wonder gets it done. Rick Flood, let's make it official. We'll bring our Kurt Melvin, our tournament director, to hand on the trophy for the 16th. I should say the crowd here for the St. John's event was absolutely amazing. Um, I, it's been a long time. I think the last time I saw this many people for a fishing event was at the Classic, and the Classic is the Classic for one reason. It is the the Super Bowl of all. Is the Super Bowl of fishing? Uh, Rick Klun winning. Man, can you not? have a better person win the first event of this new seer, new year for the elites. I think overall everyone was really happy. Um, the St. John's and Platka anglers around here came out in full support and they were unbelievable. So hopefully you like the video. If you do, hit the like button, hit the comment, hit the notification, subscribe. Do all of that for us. Uh, if you want to, if, if you want to win some free gear, all you gotta do is go to our website or really email us at info at fishingfloridaradio.com or go to our Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash fishingflorida. Send us a private message, email us, do whatever you have to do, and we will put you on the list for prize packs. We really do appreciate you watching the videos and subscribing and being a fan, and we wanna make sure we give you stuff. So. Until we see you again, which might be a little fishing trip coming up soon. Get your fish on. Let me just say, congratulations to Rick Lund. Those top 10 anglers that were left was really cool because there were some new anglers. Hey, hey some new anglers and some old anglers or veteran angers may be the right way. But Rick Clun does it again. Two time winner, the last two times they've been in Palatka here. He's won it, he's 72 years old. 
There's no get, no stopping that, that man. He's one of the greats in our industry and I couldn't be happier for him to win. So congratulations, Rick.